We're here at Discovery Park that's been at the center of controversy. We've heard from county officials who said that these grounds can't sustain a festival of that size, but we also heard from a festival goer who said why take the gamble at the possibility of reliving last year. It feels like they don't care. After months of silence, Soul Bloom organizers finally announcing the festival was officially off on their website, saying although the park is no longer flooded, the damage remains. Due to significant site damage and growing safety concerns, we will not be able to host this year's festival. If they would have let us know, like, there, there's a possibility that this may not work uh, just due to the flooding and rain, I think people would have received it a lot better than just no contact, uh, no social media posts since February. And Dee Herrera isn't the only one. Officials with the county have also sounded the alarm on how Discovery Park is not a viable option for the festival. In early April, they sent this letter to Soul Bloom organizers, saying the park could not withstand a large festival with heavy infrastructure. The county referring to the damage done from flooding in the park. For Herrera, it's the reason he did not buy a ticket this year. Because I had doubts that it was even going to happen um, or it was going to be rescheduled again. And I felt like I learned my lesson from last year and I was going to hold off until they actually confirmed it was happening and come to find out they did the same exact thing as last year. So I'm, I'm glad I didn't buy tickets this year. The county got back to us with an updated comment after the announcement came down, saying they were looking forward to working with Soul Bloom organizers to make this incredible music festival happen in August of 2025. But Dee Herrera says he advises against it due to the heat, but is shocked this is happening again. It's common sense that it's going to rain uh, during the rain, the rain months. And there's always that possibility, especially with the last few years, the amount of rain that we've been getting. It's just a possibility that it's not going to be ready just because it's right by the river. And I feel like they should have learned their lesson from last year. And organizers tell us they've moved the event to August so they can avoid any sort of weather related conflicts, of course, that particular festival goer felt differently. For anyone who's looking for a refund, make sure to keep an eye on your email, especially on April 22nd. That's when you're expected to receive an email. Just know that there's a limited window on when you can submit that refund request. Reporting from Discovery Park, covering local news that matters. Claudette Stefanian, Fox 40 News.